today I want to wash my hair. <laughs> um, so my hair has been in this style for two weeks, which is not usually the case for me. Usually I don't leave my hair in a curly style for more than a week or a week and a half. Uh, I've just had a lot of things going on recently and haven't been able to uh, properly style and wash my hair. And I don't want to uh, damage my hair or do it in a rushed way. So it's easier for me to just wait until I have the time to do so. So today is the day I'm going to wash my hair and let you see the process of how I wash my hair. So um, I've gone, I've had natural hair, naturally curly hair my entire life, but in terms of taking care of my hair and its natural state, I began that process five years ago. So my hair is five years old. <laughs> And I've gone through a lot of cycles during that time in terms of figuring out what processes work for me, what works for my hair, and uh, what is the easiest way for me to do my hair in the most comfortable way. So um, when I first began styling my hair, I would spray my hair with water and uh, use a deep conditioner and slowly detangle from the bottom up. Nowadays, and the process that you'll see today, I'm going to skip that. I never thought that I could do that with my hair, just jump right in the shower with it like this. But, you know, it actually works and I'm quite surprised. So I'll show you the process of me jumping into the shower with my hair out like this and how I separate it into sections and detangle my hair underneath the running water. I'm excited to let you see. I'm excited to show you the process and how it works for me, and hopefully this can work for you as well. All right, so here I am separating my curls. Separate them by splitting my hair down the middle and putting one side up into a bun. After I get my hair separated, I'm going to step into the shower and actually um, this footage, as you can see, is not great quality. I accidentally had my camera positioned too high up, so I ended up having to redo and refilm this whole wash day. But I still wanted to include some small clips to show you kind of what the curly haired style looks like when I first get it wet, I do have low porosity hair so I have to squeeze the water into my hair otherwise it just kind of runs right off the top. So here we're going to try again with the wash day and my hair has been in a stretched style, some chunky twists that I wore as a bun which is not a usual style for me, I hardly ever wear a bun. But again um, I'm going to split my hair down the middle and this wash day is actually going to be significantly easier than the curly wash day. Number one, because my hair in a stretched state is easier to detangle and number two, my hair has only been in this stretched style for maybe four days whereas with the curly style it was in that style for two weeks basically. So hopping in the shower with my half of my head out, I will begin to detangle my hair lightly just to kind of squeeze the water into it, get some moisture in there so that I can uh, section it off for me to detangle and wash my hair one section at a time. And I'll use my little alligator clip to clip my hair up out of the way. So going through this section slowly, I'm doing some very light finger detangling um, just to get any random loose strands and make sure there are not any huge knots that are going to inhibit me from being able to detangle my hair further. Then I'm going to grab my 
knockoff tangle teaser that I bought from the dollar store for a dollar. It works wonderfully. And I'm going to brush through my hair with ease. Having my hair in a stretch style really does make it much easier to detangle my hair once I'm in the shower. After I detangle my hair, I'm going to pick up one of my homemade soap bars that I made myself and lather the soap in my hands back and forth. And then I'll use that soap and scrub my scalp to remove any dirt and debris and dead skin cells from my scalp, as well as kind of bringing it down the lengths of my hair to remove any extra product that could be sitting there. My soap is really moisturizing. This is the coconut oil, shea butter, and olive oil soap that I recently made a video on and it's really moisturizing to the point that I'm actually able to finger detang my hair just a little bit more while the soap is in my hair. Um, upon rinsing out the soap, I'm kind of squeezing out the soapy water and scrubbing out my scalp to get all of the soap off and my hair is very clarified. It is extremely squeaky clean and almost dry feeling at this point. Then I'm just going to twist my hair up and I like to stand underneath the running water because it allows my, the roots of my hair to kind of slim down and become close to my head. And I twist the section up and move on to the next section.
So again, I've slowed down this section just to kind of show you uh, one more section where I detangle my hair. And when I have a knot, I like to pull down on the hairs around it so that I can remove that knot safely. So again, wetting my hair, kind of doing a light finger detangle. Um, and then I grab my tangle teaser brush and pull through my hair from the work it from the bottom going upwards removing any knots that could be there although it's much easier because I'm coming from a stretched style I'm kind of um, making sure that this section is not in the way of my brush so that I'm not creating breakage from the other section. Then I'm going to take my soap and lather it up in my hands. And after getting a good lather, I will wash my scalp, clearing it of any dirt, debris, or skin cells. Also bringing that soap down the length of my hair and then I can lightly finger detangle, kind of um, pulling at my scalp to make sure that it's detangled all the way up to my scalp and then very gently pulling it through the rest of my hair, just lightly finger detailing, detangling here. After I finger detangle with the soap, I'm going to rinse everything out, uh, scrub up my scalp, and squeeze out the soapy water from my hair. I'll brush through it one more time just to make sure I got a good detangle job in there. And then I will just go ahead and twist up the section. That is how I wash and detangle my hair. Um, the first time I did it when I had waited like two weeks and my hair is in, was in that curly style, um, I, it took me about 50 minutes, 45 to 50 minutes. And this time um, my hair was stretched out in that like fat chunky twist bun style. And also, it had only been in that style for maybe four days, maybe five days. So, it was a lot easier de to detangle. It only took me 36 minutes to wash and detangle my whole head. And so, like I said before, when I used to do that with a pre-poo and a spray bottle outside of the shower, and I would just like sit in front of my mirror and do that, it would take me at least an hour and a half, depending on the hairstyle that I did. If I had a stretched hairstyle, it would probably be an hour. And if I had done it, in, if it was in its curly state, then it would have put it, been about an hour and a half. 
So this is just like a way shorter method for me to do it. I never thought that I'd be able to detangle my hair in the shower and also wash it in under an hour. Like that's two birds with one stone for me. I hope that that's something that can work for you in the future. If you found that interesting or you have a similar hair type or would like to see how I deep condition my hair and get it prepped for styling, um, just check out my next video, my next hair video. I love you. You are wonderful. Always go after what is interesting for you. Don't be afraid to share that with anybody. It's super cool. You are cool. Have a good day.